how to connect brother devices to Enterprise 802.1x networks using the PEEP security protocol. This video assumes that you already have a RADIUS server in place, as well as a fully configured PEEP network policy. If you don't, and would like to see how I set up my network environment in order to create this video, I created a suite of resources that you can find in the description, where I explain the setup process using Windows Server and a Netgear Enterprise access point. Within this video, in order to apply the required configurations, I am now going to connect my brother device to my network using a physical network cable through an unprotected port. By unprotected, I mean a port that is not currently being managed by A02.1x and is simply open. So now I will get started. By opening a web browser and typing the IP address of my brother device in order to access its internal web server. Since I am not connected to it right now through HTTPS, I need to click the Open Secure Login button, which will display this security warning message. To move forward, I need to click the Advanced button. Please note, this button may be labelled differently in your web browser. This will reveal another button or link that I need to click in order to continue, despite the surrounding warning message encouraging me not to continue, clicking it to access a brother machine is safe. Doing this will send me back to my brother device's internal admin page, where I now need to type its admin password and click the login button. From here, I now need to click the Network tab. In this video, I'm going to connect my brother device to my 802.1x PEEP protected network through the wireless interface, and so we'll click the wireless sub-tab. If you are setting up PEEP on a wired connection instead, simply click the wired tab. The rest of the instructions will be similar However, I will point out the differences. From here, I need to click the Wireless Enterprise option. Again, if you are setting this up on a wired interface, then click the Wired Enterprise option instead. To find the required access point, I need to click the Browse button. Of course, this step is not required for wired connections. From here, I need to select the correct network name, which in my example is called Enterprise. To confirm, I'm going to click the Submit button, where I now need to select the PEEP authentication type. If you are connecting to a wired PEEP network, this is where you will begin. I now need to select the inner authentication method, which in this example is MSCHAP v2. Since my RADIUS server is being managed by Windows NPS, I can find this information within its PEEP network policy. Next I'm going to select the encryption mode of TKIP plus AES. I can find this information from my wireless access point's internal web server within its Enterprise Settings admin page. I now need to type the required PEEP username. In this example, it is a user within the Windows Active Directory, followed by its password. Right now, I won't enable Server Certificate Verification, 
I will do this in the next part of the video to demonstrate Zero Trust. To save these settings, I need to click the Submit button. Since my wireless interface is disabled, I will click the Yes button to enable it. If your wireless interface is enabled, you won't see this option. You will just see the next option, which is this. Since I have a wired cable currently plugged into my device, I now need to unplug it. If you are following this video to connect your brother device to a secured wired port, you can now disconnect it from the unsecured port and put it into the secure port. Eventually, the brother device will restart and print either a connection successful or connection unsuccessful message. I am also going to show you how you can find the connection status information from the Windows Event Viewer. I need to expand the Custom Views option, as well as the Server Roles option. From here, I will click the Network Policy and Access Services option, where I can view the status of each connection request. In the configuration I made so far, my brother device only required a username and password to authenticate itself to the network. However, the network did not need to authenticate itself. In other words, the brother device just trusted it. In this section, I'm going to show you how to get the Brother device to also challenge the identity of the server by uploading a security certificate to it, which I will do from the Brother device's internal web server. To get started, I need to click the Network tab, followed by the Security sub-tab. From here, I am going to click the CA Certificate option, where I will click the Import CA Certificate button, followed by the Choose File button, where I need to select the required security certificate. In this example, I am using an internal CA certificate. To save the certificate to the brother device, I need to click the Submit button, which will eventually send me back to this screen, where I can confirm that it has been uploaded. I now need to go back to the Wireless Enterprise section. Of course, if you are using a secure wired connection, you would go to the Wired Enterprise section instead. From here, I need to go to the CA Cert option from the Server Certificate Verification drop-down menu. This will ensure that the security certificate being sent to the brother device to encrypt the connection is verified before it is trusted. For extra security, you can also select the CA Certificate plus Server ID option and then type the required server ID in here. In this example, it is the common name of the CA certificate. From here, I will now click the Submit button in order to make the connection, which will send me to this screen. I don't have any cables connected right now, so can ignore it. And that is it. I would now like to summarize. First, I connected my brother device to my secure PEEP wireless network. I then took the security one step further by getting the RADIUS server to authenticate itself to the brother device before they could establish a connection. Thank you for watching.